Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Saturday. We made it through the week. It is a beautiful, sunny, spring-like day here in the Pacific Northwest. It's supposed to be 66 degrees, which is glorious. And I'm here today to talk to you about trash. What? What? Trash. Yes, yes, trash. This is very exciting. This may be the best and most interesting readathon event in BookTube history. Well, Ollie likes to say it is. I'm not quite sure I agree with him, but you know, he's a little off the rails. So let's talk about trash. We have a readathon coming up in August that is called Garb August, and we are going to be reading trash. <laughs> I know, I know, it seems a little far-fetched because on BookTube, we read harder, we read more, we read better, but who would ever think to read trash and celebrate it? We are, and I am super excited. I think it's gonna be a really fun month. Did I already say it's Garb August? I don't know, my brain is a little um, on vacation today. I will I will be doing a video update um, because I've had quite an eventful week and I will, I'll share that with you, but I'm not gonna do it today because I don't want to take away from any of the fun that is Garb August. Now, there are 12 hosts, 12 co-hosts, and we're calling ourselves the Dirty Dozen. Um, they have done some very inventive and creative announcement videos. I hope that you will check them out. Mine is going to be just, as always, me sitting here talking to you because that is what I do. But um, let's talk to let's talk about about, about garbage in August. Um, so there are going to be four four weekly themes, and the first week is read sex and or violence, trash that goes out of its way to be explicit. Now, this is Gina, so my trash will probably not be that explicit um, because I don't, I don't really like explicit. I have a, a little bit of a delicate constitution, so I will be the, mm, on a scale of one to 10 in the, explicit realm, I will probably be a one. And I'm sure there will be guys in this group that are a 50. So use caution watching their videos. Just kidding. Um, week number two is vintage, trash that was originally published before 1980. There's a lot of fun vintage trash. And and Ollie, did I say criminally is the mastermind behind this whole month? Once again, sorry guys, I'm I'm a little out, out of it today. Um, trash published before 1980. Ollie has the best vintage book collection. He's constantly buying pulp, crime, horror, and these great old vintage editions. And I'm going to be on the hunt this month in preparation for Garb August. I'm going to be on the hunt for some some vintage trash. Uh, week three is anything goes, whatever you want, as long as it's trash. And week four is what the F, trash that made you question everything. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm really, I'm really looking forward to low brown it for a while. So, you know, we've got some highbrow stuff. Jane Austen. You guys know I love my middle brow, my misread, but let's just take a leap off of the deep end and go for low brow. We're gonna go for some trash in August. Now, I scoured my shelves thinking, I must have something trashy. I must own trash. And I only found two things. One, let's see, what do you guys think? You think this is trash? A Life Exposed by, allegedly by Paul Stanley. I think this may qualify. And I'm gonna look and see if this has a ghost writer. Mm, it doesn't. So, I and it's in the first person, so I, I, I can't imagine he actually wrote this, but I've owned this for a while. My sister gave it to me for Christmas a while ago. I haven't read it. I will keep it forever because I love, I love Kiss. I love 
the cover of this book, but I think this may qualify as trash. I don't know. We're going to have some interesting discussions, I think, over the next three months about what constitutes trash because my trash may be somebody else's favorite book. Your trash may be my favorite book. Um, we are going into this with an open mind and a fun mindset. The other books that I have that I think may be, tr may be a little on the trashy side are these Star Trek books that I, I love. I love Star Trek. So let's just say that trash is not a derogatory word. Trash is just fun and fun and lowbrow. So let's, let's think about trash. This is uh, Dwellers in the Crucible and Mutiny on the Enterprise. And I love these. These are, are these vintage? I forgot to look and see when the published date of these. These might be, oh, this is 85. So these are not, these are not going to qualify for the pre-1980 prompt, but I bet you I have some Star Trek books that do. This one's 83. So yeah, I bet you I've got some Star Trek books that will qualify as, as pre, pre-1980 trash. So what do you guys think about trash? Do you want to read any trash? I think I'm going to do some, I, some fun trashy romance novels. So I read a ton of Danielle Steele and Sydney Sheldon back when I was in high school, and then I kind of forgot about it. So I think I'm going to pick up some, uh, some Jilly Cooper, who I've heard is quite trashy. Maybe I'll read, reread an old Danielle Steele just to see what I think of it now as a quite an adult, not quite a 16 year old young person I used to be. Um, but I don't know, we will see, we will see. Um, this August also corresponds to Book Trek 2022. So I'm definitely going to be reading some Star Trek books. I'm just not sure if I'm going to consider it trashy enough for Garb August. I think, I think it will be though. What do you guys think? What do you think about trash? Ooh, do you think you want to participate? Read something fun. Let's talk about if it's trashy or not. I will be doing a TBR, but I'm going to do some shopping first. So my TBR will not be coming for a while, I think, um, because I don't, I don't really own any trash. I'm going to have to give it some thought. Um, I'd love any ideas. If you guys have any ideas for trashy romance, I actually did a like trash, I did a, a Google search for, for like top 10 trashy books and Georgette Hayer landed on there and which I thought was really funny and Anne Rice, which, oh, I also loved uh, The Witching Hour and The Vampire Chronicles. I don't know that those are trashy enough either. So it's really, really interesting what constitutes trash. Uh, definitely check out the other host videos because there's going to be a wide variety of of perspectives on this um, on this event and it's going to be a ton of fun so I hope you will check it out and I will talk to you later bye booktube